right, so we are in Seward, Alaska, and we have made it down to the coast here. It's, uh, I think we're awfully in a cloud. Nice. It is awfully nice, mm -hmm. yeah. These children climb rocks everywhere we go, and that's okay. We are going on a seven and a half hour uh, cruise out in the Kenai Peninsula with Marine Tours. And uh, we're here a little early. We're going to go get breakfast at some food trucks. Yeah, we're going to go get breakfast. On the Marine Tours, we're going to see possibly great glaciers, fall, whales, orcas, puffins, and seals. All right, so come along with us. Let's see what we find out today.
is the glacier ice we are making margaritas out of. are a lot heftier than they were yesterday, which we're thankful for because yesterday we were out on our sea life cruise. One thing you'll notice about downtown Seward is that there are beautiful artistic murals everywhere on all the buildings. one of the urchin things. Can you touch those? Nope. They don't feel like much. Really? I mean, they are. Oh, yeah. It's kind of sticky. Really? Well, yeah. There's they, a starfish there, too. They use the sticky bit to grab them. Can I touch it? Yeah. Only two fingers and don't, and don't like, yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah. Do a Gretchen. Oh my god, this thing is right there. Yeah, you can touch it. Oh, wait. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can touch them? Yeah. You can, yeah. Just one or two finger touches and don't pick them up. Yeah. My hand's so cold. Super cold that you can't really feel them. Yeah. Yeah, this starts mile zero where the Iditarod begins. Right now we walk down to the outwash plain of the Exit Glacier and the kids are exploring because digging in rocks is one of their absolute most favorite things to do. We started out in Seward and our boat came all the way out into Resurrection Bay. Nope, we didn't go there. So we started in Seward, all the way out into Resurrection Bay. We came all around the point. We came through the Chiswell Islands as well. We went into Aliak Bay and we stopped at the Colgate Glacier and the Aliak Glacier, and then came back. Yep. And now we drove where we're in Seward, and we're up there by the Exit Glacier. Yep. 
Well, we had a great time exploring the exit glacier today. There is a lot of parking in the parking lot, but there's also a lot of people here and it felt really spread out while we were on the trail, but just keep that in mind because we come in Charlotte. Um, we did have to circle the parking lot twice to find a parking spot and that was about one o'clock, 1.30. And we spent, oh, maybe two hours here, two and a half hours, and it was really a great hike. So stop by the Exit Glacier when you are here in Seward. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Have fun. after three nights here at the Tides Inn and it's a little clear today. We've had a great trip. We saw puffins, sea lions, humpback whales, seals. So after spending three days in Seward, we are now headed on a six hour road trip north. We're gonna stop in Talkeetna and then go to Denali and stay right outside the national park. Uh, we had three really great days here in Seward. We toured the wharf, we toured the downtown shopping area, we had lots of great seafood, and now we're ready to move on to our next adventure, so let's go.